Good day all. With me here is the Benny Fish Dryer. The Benny Fish Dryer is made up of two compartments. The lower compartment to generate heat and the higher, com the, this other compartment is for drying of the fish. It has locks that helps in closing the door to trap the generated heat in it. This is where the fish is placed. It's, it's removable. You could easily remove it, keep it aside, arrange your fishes on it, fishes of different sizes, and then you could easily lift it and slide it in. As you wait for it to dry. Beneath here is the heat generation chamber. Above here are the gas burners. We have two industrial gas burners that aid in generating heat to dry up the fish here. Behind here is where you connect your gas. This particular dryer has two burners. You could connect the two if you have very big fishes that you need to dry up, or you could use one of them. The advantage of using both of them is it dries faster. It dries faster than when you use only one. This is the compartment where you put in your coal. You pour in the charcoal here and light in the fire. As it burns, it has holes from the sides that the cross air passing through the, the dryer blows the coal and enables it to burn faster. From these holes, the ash that burns goes below and the ash is collected from this side. After you're drying, you, could remove, you can remove this and then shake off the ashes. So when your fire is burning, you can lift it up and push it in this way. And you see how it fits in to this? The heat generated from here goes up and dries up the fish. Down here we have air vents for cross ventilation. As you can see, the, there are other holes at, across the other end. So you could get oxygen flowing from here to blow the charcoal when you're using charcoal. It, the, the air that flows enables fire to burn well, to generate heat. Just to give you, just to give you a general view of what the complete chamber looks like, you could, you could either use the charcoal or you make use of the gas.